hey hello everyone uh, so to determine item category in sales order uh, there are few parameters is must that is uh, uh, sales document type item category group higher level item category and item usage we all know that these parameters where it comes from except item usage item usage is controlled completely in the standard code level only or else we can get it from cmir records but uh, 90% is controlled through code only we can't put it anywhere else except cmir and uh, we can't make that cmir as a generic for uh, yeah now let's understand how the standard code will get this uh, item usage into uh, item category determination the standard fm will use be used as sd vbap vw pass get you see here so in this fm first the code will verify whether material is entered or not if the material is not entered then system validating few values in vbap table that is sqpf for uh, uh, module and jwert is for uh, target value and prodh is for prod hierarchy so whenever material is not entered then all of these three fields will be initial that means blank there is no data into these three fields in this case item usage text will be determined so i have mentioned the same thing here whereas if uh, some of the fields some of the these three fields has some value then uh, in that case item usage will become vctr if everything is blank then it will become a text item usage if some of them has value then it will become vctr so vctr will be used in determining the item category in case of uh, contracts value contracts the document types are wk1 and wk2 wk1 wk2 in case of vctr we are determining wkn and wkc suppose if metal is entered then first the code updating space here then it is calling the standard functional model or we customer material read this is nothing but that uh, customer material info record fm this fm will get the, get the data from that cmir yeah apart from this item usage uh, will be used to determine the uh uh middle determination header pricing for uh, both header item main item and uh, sub item and uh, item pricing main item and sub item for uh, sub item but header pricing that is ps el for uh, item pricing it is ps a2 for main item uh for main item the item usage will be pshp and thus for header and for item it is psa1 and same thing we can see here uh, psel psa2 and pshp psa1 uh, so in vbap we have field called uevpw that is usage have a higher level item so whenever this field has the value brc if it's a brc then it will become considered as an free goods then item usage will be updated as free if this vbap uev uepvw contains sf cross selling then item usage will be updated as c sell see here in case of cross selling whenever a vbap uepvw is f then we we w pass we w pass nothing but the item usage field where we can get c cell as a value